Are you ready for an interstellar adventure? Because we're about to take a tour of our very own solar system and discover some amazing facts about each of the traditional and dwarf planets and other celestial objects. But first, let's take a step back and explore the galaxy that contains our solar system, the Milky Way. It's a barred spiral galaxy, which means it has a central bar-shaped structure with spiral arms extending from it. The Milky Way is estimated to be about 100,000 light years in diameter and is thought to contain between 100 and 400 billion stars. Our solar system is located about 25,000 light years away from the center of the Milky Way in one of the spiral arms. Our solar system is a collection of planets, moon asteroids, comets, and other celestial bodies that orbit around a central star, the Sun. It's believed that our solar system formed about 4.6 billion years ago from a cloud of gas and dust known as the Solar Nebula. As the Solar Nebula collapsed under its own gravity, it began to spin and flatten into a disk-like shape. The central part of this disk became the Sun, while the remaining gas and dust particles clumped together to form the planets, moons, and other objects in our solar system. Today, our solar system consists of eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, each with their own unique characteristics and features. Now, let's zoom in and take a closer look at the planets in our solar system. We are starting with the closest planet to the Sun, Mercury. Did you know that despite being the smallest planet in our solar system, it's actually the second hottest? With temperatures reaching up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, you could say Mercury is a bit of a hothead. Next up, we have Venus, often referred to as Earth's sister planet. But don't let the nickname fool you, this planet is anything but friendly. It has a thick, toxic atmosphere that traps heat, making it the hottest planet in our solar system. You definitely don't want to plan a vacation there. Now let's move on to our home planet, Earth. Did you know that Earth is the only planet in our solar system with active plate tectonics? This means that the Earth's crust is constantly moving and reshaping, which is why we have mountains, oceans, and even earthquakes. Next stop, Mars. This planet has been a topic of fascination for years, with scientists searching for signs of past or present life. And did you know that Mars is home to the largest volcano in our solar system, Olympus Mons? It's three times taller than Mount Everest. Jupiter is up next, and it's a true giant. In fact, it's so big that all of the other planets in our solar system could fit inside it. And its great red spot, a gigantic storm that has been raging for centuries, is so large that you could fit the entire Earth inside of it. Famous for its beautiful rings, Saturn is up next. But did you know that these rings are made up of billions of tiny ice particles? And if you were to stand on one of Saturn's moons, you'd be able to see the rings stretching across the sky like a giant cosmic hula hoop. Uranus may be the butt of many jokes, but it's no laughing matter when it comes to its unique tilt. Unlike the other planets in our solar system, Uranus is tilted on its side, spinning almost like a rolling ball. Talk about doing things differently. Final planet we have Neptune, the furthest planet from the Sun. It's so far away that it takes over 165 Earth years for it to complete one orbit around the Sun. And did you know that this planet has the fastest winds in our solar system, with speeds reaching up to 1,200 miles per hour? Although Pluto was once considered the ninth planet in our solar system, it was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, but it's still one of the coolest objects in the solar system. This small, icy world is so intriguing because it's covered in a layer of frozen nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. It's like a big snowball in space. In fact, NASA sent a spacecraft called New Horizons to fly by Pluto in 2015, and it revealed some amazing new details about this tiny world. We now know that Pluto has a heart-shaped feature on its surface, as well as mountains made of water ice that are over 11 feet tall. Speaking of objects, the asteroid belt is a region of our solar system located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, where millions of small rocky objects, called asteroids, orbit around the Sun. The asteroid belt is believed to have formed early in the history of the solar system, from the leftover material that didn't clump together to form a planet. While the asteroids in the asteroid belt are relatively small and far apart from each other, they still pose a potential threat to our planet if one were to collide with Earth. These asteroids vary in size, from tiny fragments to the largest asteroid. Ceres, on the other hand, is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It's classified as a dwarf planet and is the only one located in the inner solar system. It's also the only dwarf planet with a surface covered in bright spots. And that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this journey through our solar system and learned some amazing facts about the planets, dwarf planets, and other celestial objects that call it home. 
If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on any of our future videos. Now, I want to hear from you. Which fact blew your mind the most? Did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below and keep the conversation going. Thanks for watching.